Hi, I'm Carly Clark and I'm the owner of Splitters Farm. Splitters is a 160 acre property about 10 minutes north of Bundaberg. We purchased it in 2017. Really, uh, we just wanted a bit of land to raise some cattle on and, and raise our kids. We've got five kids between us. And yeah, we just wanted to give them the opportunity to grow up on, on rural property like we both did when we were kids and all the uh, benefits of, that that brings. Pretty soon after we purchased the property, we started taking rescue animals in. Uh, Bundaberg's pretty much been in drought for a few years now and a lot of farmers had to come off the land and, and couldn't afford to keep their livestock fed. So we started taking animals in mainly because of drought. Uh, these days they come to us for any number of reasons. It's neglect and abuse, council confiscations. Uh, we've even had women dropping animals off on their way out of town because they're fleeing domestic violence. So it doesn't matter what the reasons are, we, um, we started taking them in a few years ago. So pre-COVID we were working full time, running weekend tours, looking to expand the property into accommodation. Uh, we, I had just taken a really flexible job two weeks prior to COVID that was going to allow me to be on the farm and work a bit more from home so we could get the project up and running. We had just applied for our bank loan to the bank and then all of a sudden COVID hit. So we effectively pivoted for a while to stay open for our weekend tours and then obviously like every other tourism business that ended as well. Uh, during COVID, I, I like to say we, we, we struggled a bit mentally. We, we had all these goals and all these long-term plans that we were really working fairly ambitiously to achieve and all of a sudden that just all came crashing down. I guess for us, the bank then just said no. We, we, no, well, they didn't say no, they said not now with regards to the loan um, and we, we kind of took COVID as an opportunity to do what we could around the farm. I effectively lost the job that I had just received um, that was going to be create a more flexible environment for me to work in. And I guess effectively we really just had to look at our, our life and reprioritise our plans moving forward. During COVID, we threw ourselves into the farm full time. Uh, we raised money initially to support the animals because the hardest thing for us was we didn't want to have to sell any animals that had been entrusted to us. So we raised money through Facebook. We uh, reached out to people every day through Facebook Live so that people could actually connect with us and vice versa. It was probably the only time we would have condoned people being on screens and technology to, uh, to connect, which changed the whole model of how we actually see screens. We were always trying to get kids to get their you know, hands dirty and get off screens and then this was like the one exception. So uh, we, we increased our social media following during COVID something like seven or 800%. It was incredible. Um, people were really looking for an outlet and we connected with people through these farm tours we were running each day. So we would candle eggs one day or we would do a tour and explain the benefits of having guinea fowl as natural pest controllers or we would brush the horses and, and talk about the stories of the animals that we've taken in. So then post COVID, we made the decision not to go back and kill ourselves working full time and trying to run the farm on weekends. So we, we now open seven days a week. Most of our tours are self-guided, so it allows people to, at their own pace, tour the farm and discover the benefits of being out here in fresh open hour and fresh, o fresh open spaces. And we opened with just the biggest supportive following that we could have ever imagined. What does the future hold for splitters? Well, we're in the process of going for eco certification. We, we really want to be the first tourism park that runs completely off grid. That's a, it's a massive thing for us. We really want to be sustainable and show how an agribusiness can work in harmony with its natural environment. As far as the expansion of Splitters Farm goes, we, off the back of COVID, had such a successful following that we were able to go back to the bank hand on heart and say, Wait, this, is, this model is going to work. So we have been successful in securing bank funding and a grant to progress our accommodation side of things. We are just, we have just launched this week our five star offering, eight amazing deluxe safari tents, which uh, we are so very proud of. We are in the process of building a camp kitchen and look, 
As far as down the track goes, we would love to build an on-site cafe. We've got plans for a produce store, a conference facility, and we really are looking at options to become a dual attraction um, and maybe couple with some kind of culinary and beverage experience. So lots of big plans for splitters. Um, all of the animals will take along for the ride and uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>